today I'm going to be making beats in the style of Gunner's new album called A Gift and a Curse. For the melody, I think I'm going to try and come up with a really simple piano chord progression. I need something to complement the chord, so I'm going to go into Analog Lab 5 and use the Emergency Room preset in the Ghostland Bank. I'm trying to layer the chords with something else, so I'm probably going to use this Birds Calling Classic Synth Key from Layers Volume 2 by Prod by Lona. I'm also going to bounce out this uh, Ghostland pad preset that I found. I also noticed in the track there's these like really weird reversed vocal chops. I went ahead and found some vocal chops from Splice. Sounds something like this. And I just reversed it basically and then chopped it up to make it fit the melody. It sounds pretty good but I think we might want some variation in other sections of the track. So I found another one and just done the same thing and it sounds like this. got all the melodic elements for the track so I'm just going to mix them up and we can start on the drums. Alright, there's actually no kick or 808 in this reference track, so I might just leave it like that even though it's really simple because there's meant to be a lot of room for an artist on this one. I'm just going to mix the drums and then arrange it and then we can take a listen. Do is clone the piano chords and make the second pattern have increased velocity so it sounds like the piano is playing louder.
Alright, so for this beat, I think I'm gonna go for a slower, like, grungy piano beat instead of this track. I just want some contrast between the different tracks I'm covering in this album. I think I'm just gonna try and make a melody, like, really obscure and, like, nonsensical, because why not? Probably gonna grab a random MIDI from Tsunami Audio Pack, and I'm just gonna change a couple of the notes. Now I'm gonna bounce that out and then throw it into Fruity Slicer. Alright, I'm happy with how that sounds, so I'm going to throw some effects on it real quick. It sounds like there's some sort of woodwind instrument in the background of the melody, but I'm going to make it sound wacky, bro. I'm going to make it sound goofy. I'm going to tune it down minus 24 semitones, which is just two octaves, and then I'm going to up the tune in contact up 12. And this is on a pan flute instrument in Ethno World 6. Really simple melody, uh, but it does need some effects because it sounds kind of stupid, so... I feel like the melody needs one more thing just to fill it out, so... I've gone into the Ghostland Bank again, and I found this weird, like, keyboard or ARP. I've just copied these chords over. I'm going to bounce it out, throw some halftime on it, and see what it sounds like. And this is what the op sounds like with all the effects. Alright, I'm not gonna lie. This sounds pretty stupid. <laughs> Keep it really simple. I'm not gonna add any like extra snares or anything because in the reference track there's like barely any, so I'm just gonna mix up the drums and then we're good. I like that one, even though it sounds kind of all over the place. I think the first one is much more my style, I'm not gonna lie. I just kind of threw random sounds together and it sounded like, okay, so hopefully if you're looking for inspiration, uh, this video helped in some way. And if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe, of course. Let's just listen to the beat and see what I could have done better for next time. <laughs>